In this video, we'll be looking at the retro card of Cobra Commander that came with the Hiss Tank. Will the real Cobra Commander please stand up? This is the retro card of Cobra Commander that came with the Hiss Tank, and I really like what they did with the retro cards, the card backs on this one. I hope this is how the thickness we get with the new ones coming forward. So this is a lot more thicker, robust card back instead of the real flimsy paper style, nearly paper style that they had on the earlier waves of retro credit figures. And much more rigid. Even the bubbles are stronger. When I cut the plastic on the side to pull the accessories out of this one, and when I pulled it up, it even left a stress mark on the plastic. <laughs> so it's pretty strong stuff. I would love to see the return of just single language uh, on the bios on the back. Because just make different packaging for different countries uh, i know it's cost saving is to print one card back but you can get a lot better bio by having it in a single language and just print a different card back for different countries i know it's going to be costlier but these are nice collectibles and i like the fact we can get more information on these the big simple cobra logo on, on the on the back beautiful artwork on the front of cobra commander you got the I don't know what they call the Mickey Mouse logo, even on the artwork. Cobra Enemy. Now let's take a look at the figure. For accessories, Cobra Commander comes with three sets of hands. It comes with two fists, two trigger hands, and two style pose hands. Uh, one with pointing, and one where you can hold the Cobra with the globe, which is the other accessory. It is a small globe with a gold Cobra wrapped around it. And that's this hands for the hold that. And we have a back holster and pistol for Cobra Commander. He also comes with a knife sheath and knife. The sheath is uh, straps are very uh, rigid feeling. Feels like I need to heat that up to get it to go up the leg a little bit more. I don't want to force it up. So I feel like I might break the straps. But it's riding a little low right now. For sculpt, this thing is great. Look design. This is classic. Real American hero, Cobra Commander. Uh, this is the Cobra Commander we've all been waiting for, and I love it. Hopefully, we for mass retail, we get we get a variant of this. Maybe like we like a little different shade of blue. Maybe like a blue that's kind of closer to the Regal blue, and a different painted logo. I know it's a way too much to ask for anymore. It seems like I would love to see an alternate hooded head too, but I would, they don't seem to want to do that anymore. For looks, we got the classic Cobra Commander style heads. Uh, we got the chrome faceplate, helmet. We got the sculpted around the neck, the collar around the neck, the studs on the collar, and details around the lapels of the jacket. The buttons nicely detailed. All around, got sculpted on straps on the back of the torso coming around to meets the, the upper belt that's sculpted on uh, the belt here is sculpted onto the pants i am missing a little bit of black right there and on the bottom of these pouches i'll do a little bit of touch up of those you got the red stripes down the legs and it looks like the straps are, are sculpted on to the bottom of the boots the shoes and the silver stripes around the uh, sleeves of the jacket. It looks very nice. It looks very retro style Cobra Commander. That's what we were wanting. Uh, for articulation, his head is on a double ball peg on the top. So you can look around. All around, you got the double ball peg at the base of the neck. So you can move around, wiggle around all you want. You can look up pretty decent too, even with the double ball peg. Even if it had a disc hinge on the neck still be limited for the, the helmet so we didn't really lose too much with not having a disc hinge on him great side to side disc hinge shoulders they kick up this high you got butterfly joints that move pretty decently for sometimes on the J. Joe classified figures the butterfly joints don't really move that much but these move pretty good you got bicep rotation I don't like when they do the straight cuts on the bicep rotation but they do seem to do that a lot with G.I. Joe anymore. You get the, back in the day, in the Toy Biz days, we called those spinning meat joints. Where it's 
when you articulate it, you got really ugly straight cuts. This is an all new mold, so it's all pinless. It's got double joint elbows, bends up all the way up to here. In a swivel wrist, full 360, hinged. And the gun hands are actually vertically hinged on both. Now both uh, both uh, trigger fingers are vertically hinged. Standard ab crunch. You can crunch, go back this far. Crunch forward this much. It's got a ball joint at the waist. So it can tilt side to side and rotate. Ball joint hips. Let's right, see what I'm talking about. That leg strap. I just slid down when I try to move the articulate uh, articulate the leg. Ball joint hips can kick out this far. You can do the full Van Dam. A lot better than Spider Man figures. <laughs> That's going to drive me nuts. There. Kick up this much. Uh, kick back. None. The scope of the back of the waist actually limits the movement backwards. You got drop down hips, thigh rotation, double joint knees, get you up to here, and you got a swivel down here at the bottom of the leg, it's got an odd swivel point, and you get that spinning meat issue that will move that joint too. Now you got hinged ankles. You go down this much, go up this much, you got ankle pivots. Overall, it's a great looking figure, but like I said, it's the weird decision they start doing with the articulation points on the G.I. Joe classified figures, these straight cuts. I don't get that. You got these beautifully sculpted figures, and they do straight cuts articulations, which makes them look odd and dated. For example, like we got the retro card of Black Widow, so the Marvel Legends, you got that curve. When you articulate the joint, it stays nice. It don't look like spinning meat or a weird cut. Your arm was cut and not put on back right. So I wish they would go back to the curved or curvature style bicep cut on the G.I. Joe's. They, they, that's what they used to do. I don't want, I don't guess it's easier to do it this way. So pump out more more figures. But uh, take your time. Do it right. <laughs> the arms on mine, the shoulders are very stiff. It's gonna take a little bit, you know, more they can go down properly. When it goes up, it's fine. It's coming back down. It wants to bind up. Yeah. Like, it leaves the arms like an A stance and those weird cuts too, they'll start prying the arms loose. Well, the gun holster for the back is kind of odd. It's this square style holster, of oh, the holster the, at an angle, uh, plugs into the back. It's kind of, and you put your gun in that. So, kind of makes an awkward place to carry your pistol. <laughs> it's like, uh, I can't get my gun. But you can do that if you want to, but I'm never going to display it with that on there. But you got a nice Cobra logo on that, though. He can hold his pistol just fine. Let's do some comparisons with some other figures. The most obvious ones, of course, are the Regal Cobra Commander and the first Cobra Commander. This is, these are not bad looking figures. Some of the articulation is kind of ugly on these as well, especially like the ab crunches, but these have been pretty good figures and just more regal, like more ceremonial dressed up Cobra Commander, but I like this classic Cobra Commander a lot. The uh, only real issue I got with, with it is, can't seem to get the arms any farther down than that. You get that A stance to the arms, but these look good. And for other lines, we got Bucky Cap. A lot of people's favorite figure, Zero. <laughs> Naruto from SH Figure Arts. 
and Count Dooku from Star Wars Black Series. Overall, I'm really happy to finally have a classic Cobra Commander. I've been pretty well happy with the Regal one for a long time, but being able to get a nice classic style Cobra Commander, yeah, this is going to be my main Cobra Commander. This is going to be hanging out on my Hydra shelf with Pimp Day Destro doing an arms deal with Hydra. This is a great piece. I really hope this becomes a standard release for everybody to be able to get this, do a little bit of variance in the colors of blue, some of the decos, and I'm pretty sure, I'm sure they, I'm pretty sure they said they were going to do a retro card on this one later on, but differently. And of course, we won't have the Mickey Mouse style Cobra logo. But anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll catch y'all next time.